Hello, guys. It is me again. It's good to see, ooh, excuse me. It's good to see you all again tonight. It's uh, Thursday, April the eighth, two thousand ten. This is day ninety-eight on our Project Jesus three sixty-five. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm getting my reading in a little late again tonight. I'm not as late as I was last night. Uh, I've not felt good today. I had to work by myself today. Uh, my help didn't show up. And uh, when you know it, it's like that's the way it always goes. When I woke up this morning, about the same time I realized I was sick, I got the phone call saying my help wasn't going to be at work. So I had to go in early and I had to do the work of two men, if not three men, by myself and me sick. Uh, sick of my stomach. I don't know. I was just real sick of my stomach all day. And. and uh, had the diarrhea all day, so uh, I'm feeling better now, but anyway, that's one reason I'm coming at you late this evening, I kind of laid down and, and uh, took a little rest this evening, and I got up, and uh, by the time I realized what time it was, and took a shower, and got a little cleaned up, it was pretty late, so anyway, I hope you guys will forgive me, and uh, going to start tonight. Where we left off last night, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. So guys, here we go. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me the days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. Foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house, on a seat in the high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither, and as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant, but he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that her guests are in the depths of, the, of hell. <clears throat> Guys, you know, that's some powerful stuff. You know, we need to, we need to remember these things. You know, we need to ask for wisdom from God. And you know, the, the, uh, the people here, it's talking about the simple people that don't understand. This is not talking about dumb people, or this is not talking about, uh, the way most people think of people like in my area as just old backward stupid redneck hillbillies that's not what he's talking about he's talking about the dumb people actually the scientists the smart people that this this is the people that think they're smart but are not no matter how smart you are uh, people that turn away from God people that won't accept God the people that won't accept that there was a creator that created this whole deal you know I'm not a real smart man, but it don't take a genius to look out into the sky or look out into the stars or, or see, you know, the simple things every day and know that there's a creator that created this place. And for a man to come up and, and make things up in his heart and in his mind, some of the foolish things that, that they say now, you know, what, you know, is what created us. And it's just, it's, it's ignorant. It's ignorant. And they're being foolish, and that's what, you know, I think this is talking about, you know, but, uh, and the foolish, stupid people we got running our country today, I tell you, I don't want to get started on that, but everybody pray for us. I mean, this nation is in trouble. It's headed, it's, it's headed in places that we, we've never seen before. And, you know, we just, we got to pray, guys, we got to pray. Just keep praying that, you know, the Lord will get us through it, and that, you know, if, you know, most importantly, pray that the Lord's will be done. Because, if, you know, no matter what happens, if it's in His will, then we're going to be all right. So everybody just pray. Uh, pray for me. Pray for my business, you know. Uh, I thank you guys for doing that, which right now it's it's doing really good. You know, it's booming, which it usually does from, you know, uh, March till October. You know, it, it, it booms more than I can do. 
booms more than a bunch of us can do. But, uh, you know, it seems like from October back to February is, is kind of slow. But uh, pray for me. Pray for my worker. That's, like I said, he caught in sick today. And another guy that I work sometimes, I tried to get a hold of him and couldn't. Uh, so pray for him that he's able to work tomorrow because he needs the money. You know, he... Uh, he needs to work every day that he can, just like I need him to work every day that he can. I've got cars stacked up and lined up and four-wheelers lined up and motorcycles lined up. I've got enough work to do. To, I could not take in another job and stay busy for probably two to three weeks right now, which that's good. Um, but, you know, it gets a little aggravating when you got people calling you every day wanting to know whether, when their stuff's going to be done and, and you can't get it done because, you, you know, you can't get anybody to show up to work. But... Anyway, guys, just pray for all of us. We need to pray for each other. You know, the Lord commands us to do that. Pray for each other. Pray for this country. Pray for Israel. Don't forget to do that. You know, the Lord commands that. And I know some Christians tend to try to be biased and racist and everything else and against the Jews. And, you know, the Jews are God's chosen people. You know, that's just a fact. And he tells us to bless them. He says, whoever blesses them will be blessed and whoever curses them will be cursed. So let's remember to do that. Guys, I thank you for watching, and uh, good Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.